Welcome to my YouTube tutorials. This is ABM graphics. Yes, uh, a concern has been raised about uh, I have designed a listing price list which was this and someone asks that what is the difference between price list and then price table you get that yes what i did here was a price list you get that this was a price price list because it has so many distance on it yes and what i'm going to design is price table you get that yes so let's just walk to, into it so first of all i just want to create my background where i just want to design that particular thing over there then i'm going to use photoshop default size just like this okay then the next thing i have to do is to just, just start designing that particular price table this one we are designing price table but not price list but it just looks similar but it's, it has some different features on all together okay so first of all i'll come and pick my rectangular marking tool over here then i will draw something like this okay yes i'll draw something like this and just like this and over here i'll do the same thing as i did the other one then i'll have something like this over there okay you get that yes so the next thing i have to do is that i just want to duplicate this one and then this one i'll change the color and the color will be a gradient color and i'll choose this particular color over there you get that yes and then the next thing i have to do is that i will just move this one on top to be on top over there you get that then i'll right click here and then create a clipper mask in just like this okay then the next thing i have to do i'll give it a stroke some white stroke around it so i'll come and click over here and give it white stroke then i'll change the size to five yes and you see what i'll have there you get that yes so the next thing i have to do is that i'll just pick it rectangular marking tool again then i'll draw some lines just like this and then that particular lines i'll change it to white no i'll change it to this particular color over there okay this color you get that yes this particular color and the next thing i have to do is that i'll just move it on top then what i need to do this particular distance is that i'll add a shadow to it fx drop shadow then i'll have shadow like this it's okay for me then i'll click ok then i'll have something like this and the next thing i have to do is that i'll just duplicate this one by holding open it and draw and just drag it just like this okay and this particular one i'll let it go in so i'll bring this one over here then i'll have it like this okay then the next thing i have to do i'll duplicate the down one too then over here i'll move it down and that one too will be somewhere here you get that yes let me just move it out and then the next thing i have to do is to do another one again just like this then this one should be here and then i'll move that one to somewhere here like this you get that yes so the next thing i have to do is that i just want to hold shift then i'll select all that particular rectangular margin to this list you get that then i'll just tilt it this way just like this and then i'll move it to somewhere here okay just like this and the next thing i have to do because all of them are selected i'll just right click and then i'll create a clicker mask in just like this you get that yes so in this particular case what you really need to do is that you can decide to reduce the opacity to somewhere so that it will look beautiful for you okay let's just leave it at 50 okay 50 will be okay you get that yes so for this particular distance let's just make some adjustment to it you click then i'll just move in this one and then i'll just change the distance to come somewhere here like that 
then I will let this one go just like this over here okay I want this thing to appear over there just like this okay yes and then I'll have something like this over there so what I need over here is that let's let me just do some adjustment to it over here like this okay like this then just have something like this over there okay then i'll just move it move it around to have something sh some shapeless like this yes then i'll add another one to then i'll create i'll create a clipping mask into that one then that particular one i'll just move it in to be somewhere like here okay then i'll have something like this then let me just reduce the opacity so that you appear appear very well there yes just like this okay so the next thing i have to do is to pick another rectangular marking tool then i'll just draw something like this over there and then i'll change that particular color to white then over here too i'll just move it in like that so i'll have something like this and then i'll come and pick basic over here then i'll just paste it on then i'll move it on top then i'll change the color to this same color over there and then i'll just make it somewhere 18 to be somewhere here okay then the next thing i have to do is that i'll just pick 199 galaxies then i'll come and paste that one to over here and then i'll change the color to white and that one should be somewhere here and that one i'll make the distance 24 and should be somewhere here and then i'll add payment to just something over here and then i'll change it to regular and then i'll make that one thing to be somewhere here okay and the next thing i have to do is that i just want to drag this one down just like that okay and the next thing i have to do is to come and click on rectangular marking tool then i'll come to custom shape then i'll choose a star where is the star 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 okay i'll use these two stars so first of all let me pick this star then i'll hold shift to just draw something like this and then i'll change that particular color to white then i'll come back again then i'll pick uh, where is the other side this particular star over there and then i'll just move that one to just like this okay and then i'll change that one to color to white yes for the tutorial sake i will get time to make it looks the same thing so but let's just do something about that over there yes so that the same will have the same anything over there just like that okay yes so the first one i'll duplicate it one two three okay then i'll move this one over here and i'll move this one over here and i'll move this one over here and the last the 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 the, the other one that is that has no field i'll move it somewhere here and then i'll just hold shift and just drag it to the sector just like this okay yes then i can save it as price table okay let's just have a something like this okay yes so the next thing i have to do is that i'll come and pick another rectangular marking tool then i'll just draw something like this over there then that one too i'll just move the distance in then i'll change that particular color to to a gradient and i'll use this particular gradient over there then i'll just change the angle to somewhere three okay 
and then the next thing I have to do is to write buy now on it buy now okay and then I'll just let it be in the middle and the listing should be semi bold like that and then I'll have it just like this okay yes so this is the first one so I'll just decide to make all in one then I'll call that one one and then I'll move that one to somewhere here then I'll duplicate it by pressing ctrl G and then I'll move I'll just move it to somewhere here then I'll duplicate that one and I'll move that one to somewhere here you get that yes so what we need to do is to change this one so that one I'll change it to standard change that one to standard just like that and then because standard is too long I have to do what I have to increase the shape over there just like this and then like that okay then I'll have it like this and then I'll come over and change the price over there like this and then the amount I'll just leave it that way but for the stars what I need to do is that I'll delete this particular star and then I'll duplicate this star over there and that one should be somewhere here okay yes then we have two stars we have one star you get that yes so the buy now over here uh, the, so the over here over the shape over there I'll change the color to this particular color and then the shape over there I'll just hold all and I'll change that one to color to this color yes let me see okay I'll change it to this color let's see and then this color down there I'll change that one to to this color then I'll have it like this and then the down here I'll change that one to color to this color then I'll have something like this and then the next the, the, the next one I'll come over and I'll call it premier and I'll change that one to like this yes the same thing I have to make some adjustment to the shape so that it will fit it like that then I'll just let it be in a sector yes so for this one I'll just delete that one then I'll move this one over there then I'll move it somewhere here and then I'll change the price to 499 Ghana series just like this okay and then the shape over there too I'll change that particular shape to this particular distance and then I'll hold shift to select all the rectangular distance then I'll change that one color to to this particular color over there let me see it looks it does okay let me come and then let me just change this color again to this let me make it so this thing okay just like that and then the color is over there I'll make it just like this okay yes so the next thing I have to do is this one color should go with this one and then this color should go with this one and then this particular color should go with this color yes and then I have two I have three of my price table so what I need to do is that I just want to have some kind of 
shadow down there like this then I'll right click and rasterize the layer then I'll come to filter then I'll go to blur then I'll come to Gaussian blur sorry I didn't change the color uh, I supposed to change the color to black sorry so I'll just change the color to black then I'll rasterize it now I'll come to blur Gaussian blur then I'll have it like this then I'll click OK then what I need to do is that I'll hold shift <coughs> then I'll just move it in like that then it should be somewhere like that and then I'll just duplicate it over here and duplicate this one to over there and then I'll just hold shift to select all then I'll just reduce the opacity opacity yes just like that so and then after that there will be some kind of thing that you write on this one and this one then it's not left so the information for here for the tutorials is not to be too long i just want to make this one short so that you get understand between the price list and then price table so this is how we design price list in photoshop yes so thank you very much for watching this is abm graphics have a nice day bye bye